All right, welcome to the stream. Uh... I'm going to be playing... something that I've heard of for a long time, and... I purchased it on the Wii U before the uh, eShop went down because I'm not paying for the Nintendo online subscription, so... What is this exactly? This is the Super Mario Bros. 3 re-release for the Game Boy Advance. But... It's a bunch of bonus levels that, uh, the way you used to play them, you had to purchase these physical cards and then scan them using this e-reader accessory. Which, a lot of people probably didn't do. So, um, they packaged them together and released them all digitally for the Wii U. And they're also available on Nintendo Switch Online. So, I got this for the Wii U because I don't think that subscription's Wii worth it. Mario. <laughs> Hello, Lucasson and Nick there. Yeah, I mean... This should be fun. I've, al I've always heard good things about uh, these levels, so... I mean, it is in the style of Mario All-Stars and not the NES graphics, but... What I needed. Excuse me, what is that? What? <laughs> That's sound effects? Okay, maybe it's not like Mario All-Stars. Is that gonna be happening the whole way through? No. Oh no. <laughs> That's so off-putting. It didn't do that in Mario All-Stars. Wait, what? Oh. What the... Oh. R right, this is Mario 3. <laughs> Just had a flag there, right? Okay. Well, that's the first level. Um... Classic 1, 2. I guess this is just reimagining the classic stages. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Just what I needed. What are you. That's what I needed. Oh, man, I'm not gonna get used to this, am I? But you know what? I have all the nostalgia in the world for the NES version. I bet someone has the nostalgia for this version of the game. Alright! Finally had rain after over a month without damn. It's a heck of a dry period. Oh, right, I don't have big... Okay, here's the thing. The thing that... When I played the Mario All-Stars version of Mario 1, I sucked at it because the jump physics were just completely different, and this is the case with this, is just... I don't know how many hours or how many years of muscle memory this is fighting, but it just doesn't feel right. I'm probably, yeah, not going to be good at it. Oh my god. I can't believe this. This, this just doesn't feel right. Just what I needed. Woo! Just what I needed. It's just going to keep saying that. Okay, look. Some of the stages are gonna get interesting. This is just the beginning, so they're reimagining Mario one, I guess. Here I go. Oh, 
Why can't I do this to Wario? What are you going to say for one-up? Damn it. This just, this just feels like a bootleg. They don't need to, you have me. No, but that's not the same. They only allowed Warrior to voice to, to voice like a game completely, maybe twice. This this is highly unnecessary. I don't think I could play through this version of Mario 3. <laughs> These sound effects. Um, okay, hang on. So, I mean, there's a few, like, it's not doing all of Mario 1, but then we've got some new ones further ahead. So, I mean, I should be able to get through most of these, if not all of them. Oops. Backgrounds are nice. Yeah, I needed something to fill the opening part of today's stream, so I figured this. It's probably going to be once off. I think I'm going to finish them all today. can't stand these sound effects. Just, just every time one happens, it just it's like a stab in my heart. Cause I'm like, that's not how it should it's it should be silent. Yeah, uh, it's the jumping, I'm, I'm just not used to it. it ugh. In my mind, I have a way of how these jumps should work. But it just doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, wait. This is, this is like a later Mario mechanic. Yeah. Just curiosity. Curiosity now. Um, I'll, I'll just do one one just to be quick. I want to hear what Luigi says. Morbid curiosity. Oh, oh my god. No, okay, this is like Mario Brothers 2 Luigi. He's got the, uh... Sort of bad traction, and then the the extra high jump. So this is like not just green Mario. Ah, oh, stop! I hate that line so much. Ah, just what I needed. It just feels so wrong, man. It feels so wrong. Hello, Messiah, Nick. Okay, but like, this is this is neat. I, I do appreciate that it's like Mario 2 Luigi. Does he do the high jump? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Just jump over the flagpole. That's fine. All right. I, I mean. I don't think there's a secret incentive to this. Mario. 
Okay. We'll get through the classic stages and then we'll get to see some of the, the more interesting ones. What I needed. Okay. Oh. I frames did not last long enough. Okay. Well, I tried. This is just taking me back to when I played the Mario All-Stars version of Mario 1 and I just sucked at it because the, everything was just different about it. From a jumping perspective and gravity and physics, it just felt wrong. Now this is, this is that, but now Mario is just... Okay, don't be an idiot again. Even even that is wrong. <laughs> he just goes down too quickly. He's not in the air long enough. I can't be the only one thinking that. Surely anyone that's played Mario One. Just with that little. Sorry. I didn't think it would bother me that much, but it, it really does bother me. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> I bet there's no option to turn that off. This is 1-4, come on. I'll play the bonus stages from the Mario 3 Game Boy Advance. That'll be a nice relaxing thing to do on a Sunday. Don't you fucking dead! And now I hit my head on the ceiling because I was big. It needs to shut up. Can you imagine if, like, they remade Donkey Kong Country and then Donkey Kong every, like, three seconds was Seth Rogen? <laughs> Bananas! Just what I needed. <laughs> Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Mario. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh... Wait, what's with the little box? You know what, forget the little box. Alright, 2-2. Two, two. And then it's... It's interesting stages, so let's just get through this one. Ah, uh, of course, I had to demonstrate an underwater stage. I like the graphics. 
I'll say the graphics are nice. It's the first underwater stage, so it's fine. The later ones are a little bit nightmarish. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that's... Give you a gist of it is just, yeah, each of these... I don't know if they, each of them came on a card, but... Now we get into the interesting ones. Wild Ride in the Sky. Alright, here we go. So, new stage, completely new. Lucky. Oh no. <laughs> when Mario gets 100 coins, he's still... Dude, this would piss me off so much. If I was to do a full play, I don't think I could do a full playthrough. Oh god, what if every every game in the series does this? The music makes me happy, the voices make me die on the inside. Crap. Oh god. I mean, for Game Boy Advance, it doesn't sound too bad. Oh, right. Auto scroller ended. No checkpoint, huh? Yeah, I mean, Mario 3, every school holidays, me and my brother would finish. Finish the game in its entirety, just do every single stage. First day of school holidays, that's what it was. So the game makes me happy. No. Come on, I can't be the only one where the voices are, are somewhat jarring. It just doesn't feel right. Unless you grew up with this version of the game, which in that case, yeah, I mean, look, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy. But just understand how it makes me feel. <laughs> just. I was not expecting the voices. Oh, mama boa. I don't know why I'm doing the voice like that. I'm just exaggerating how bad it is. It's just Charles. <laughs> this is definitely not a st oh. Definitely not a stage intended for World One. I'll tell you that much. Let it go, don't let it bother you. They could have varied it. Just what I needed. The problem is it's the same line every time. That's the problem. <laughs>
following is pretty quick. Oh, okay. It's fine. Dude. Man, I, I just I just don't get how to avoid that. <laughs> That seems like, uh, quite the cruel thing. Just jumps from early game Mario 1 to immediate late game Mario 3. This would be like in Skyworld or something like that. Go chat. I am. It still bothers me, but I'm going to sit here in silence over it. Alright, I need a better game plan for this. How do we avoid this? I mean, it's fine when it's stationary. The problem is in motion. This just sucks. Just let me have it. It's alright. Stage over. Pretty tricky. Okay, uh... Slide in the slopes. Sand at night? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. That's fine. It, it worked. I, I did it in style. Uh, yeah. Backwards. For style point. Jeez. I can't jump on these things. I was always terrible at anything trampoline related in these games. Oh. This is Super Mario World stuff. Oh, cool. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. No, this is more than Super Mario World stuff. Super Mario World did not do this. It's not that I don't like them, I just always found them difficult to time correctly. Particularly in Mario 1 and in Super Mario World, they just... If it was always over an abyss, I would fall to my death a lot of the time. Yoshi's Island was a bit different because uh, you had the flutter that would let you fall to safety. It was almost like a double jump. Uh-oh. Yeah, backwards for style. That was a cool stage. Yeah, it showed something new. Vegetable volley. It's pretty neat. Vegetable volley. Oh, oh. Yep. Mario 2 and Mario 3. Uh -huh. yep. 
This is this is cool. You don't really say much of this. Gotcha. <laughs> well, the poison trim and charge and charge. Oh my god, this is just an overload of <laughs> an overload of just different things happening. Gah. Die! Oh, oh crap. Alright, Mario 2, uh, Lost Levels, and Super Mario World, all in one. Oh, and Mario 3, of course, but like... I just, I can't believe these stages were just relegated to this e-reader thing. Why did I do that? I knew that was there. You enjoyed Mario 2, but you understand why the other two got more popular. I mean, Mario 2 sold better for a while. It's just Mario 2 wasn't really Mario 2. It was just a rebrand of another, another Nintendo game. Because the real Mario 2 was uh, just way too difficult. I have, I have yet to try and finish that game. I mean, the original version of it, not what we got in the Super Nintendo. Ah, yep. Yep. Ah, yep. Yep. Ah, yep. Ah. Oh my god. Game Boy one, no, no. Um, Super Mario Two, the NES one. It was uh, a reskin of uh, Doki Doki Panic. It was another Japanese game. Because the the real Super Mario Two was what Lost Levels was. And uh, there was this dude in charge at Nintendo. He would get a box of Japanese games and decide what was good for Americans. And the dude got what was supposed to be Mario 2 and thought it was just horrible. And was like, no, we need something else. So, didn't think it was good for Americans. And, uh, yeah, they took some other Japanese game and put Mario characters in it. And that's how we got Mario 2. That's why it was so different. No, no, this is too difficult for American audiences. Which, to be fair, he was right. Like, that game is pretty evil. But I'm sure, like, people would have played it and got in, got in the hang of it. I love Mario 2, but I kind of wish we did get the, the real Mario 2, you know? Jeez. Oh my god. Oh. That did not work, uh, how... Got it. Alright, but now I'm kind of screwed here. Don't kill! I mean, look it up, Doki Doki Panic. You'll see, it's it's exactly <laughs> Mario 2, just with different characters. Um, doors are plenty. All right. Oh, it's like Super Mario World Ghost House, sort of. It just doesn't feel- I mean, I know what they're trying to go for. Oh, no, wow, okay. This is like a Mario 3 Super Mario World hybrid. So 
weird. Hey, user, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Yeah. I think it's just the background that's putting me off because it, it, I know what they're trying to do. It's just I know how the ghost house should look like and it doesn't look like this. Uh, is this safe? Is this safe? Okay. I just I worry there's gonna be a bottomless pit somewhere. Yeah, I mean, the music is... Oh, crap. I've messed this up already. <laughs> Go back. I hated these. Okay, I need to make an opening and hit it. I mean, I, yeah, this is loosely based off the Super Nintendo All-Stars, but then it adds the voices and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, you were talking about Doki Doki Panic. Yeah, I mean, that's Super Mario 2. They call it Super Mario USA in Japan. <laughs> it got titled, yeah, this is what we gave to the Americans. This is what we tricked them with. Oh, no. Mamma mia. Interesting. I almost did not jump there. Alright, let's keep going. I'm trying to... You know what? Like... This might just be a, a mental blank because I never relied on them, but... I'm trying to remember if Mario 3 had checkpoints in stages. I don't think it did. And I don't think I ever needed them, really. But now, with these stages, I'm just thinking, hmm, you know what, a checkpoint would be nice. Hey, Gammy. I don't know if you should be offended or complimented. Listen, the reason they, they changed it was because the game was too hard and the dude in charge at Nintendo for America at the time was like, no, the American audience is going to hate this because it's too hard. And to some degree, he was right. It is a very hard game. There's some stuff in that game that, man, I'm not sure even I could cope with. And I was a huge fan of, like, Mario 1. There's multiple keys in this. I had it right, and then I, I've lost it. Okay, I think I got it now. God. <laughs> I fell like 
It's all right, I know, I know it's way to go. I know it's way to go. Okay, I got it. I got it. Ah, oh, shit. That's not gonna work. I have to come back through here. This is one of these ones that just doubles up. So I have to repeat this. That might still work, let's see. If I can just go on the edge. Uh, it might let me, let's see. Yeah, all right, we're fine. It's just for this. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. It's, I, I will never get used to the voice lines. I, I just, I can't. That is... Huh? This is nowhere enough time to figure this out. This is, this is not enough time to figure this out. I'm going to need another attempt at this. There's got to, there's gonna be a specific spot for okay. I don't know where to go. Ah, oh, ah! Sh oh, I found it. I found it. I found it, and I died. I found it, and I died. Okay, I know now. I know, I know now. Not down there, thank you. I will know now not to make that mistake again. a little. Okay, I, I think I got a feel for it now.
See, that's what I should have done the first time around. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, now... Down all the way to the bottom. I'm not saying the letter A, I'm saying hey. <laughs> I just sound insane, I'm just saying the letter A. Wait, how do I... I don't think you can kick it up, I tried. I don't think there's an up... Well, no, but I did it before. Alright, whatever. Let me see. Okay, that's a bad spot. Oh, it's like... It, it's... Yeah, you can do it. It's just a little... Yeah, okay. I mean, hopefully it'll work. I'm not good at this maze. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's too slow. Mess up. That works. Thank you very much. You know what? Now that I think about it. I've heard these Mario voices before. It's just in the context of a bootleg game. So that's where these voices come from. People lifted it from this version of the game. Because I remember some bootleg Mario games floating around Flash websites. This is where they come from. This is where the sound effects come from. Wow, so they're so this game is responsible for all that, huh? Just what I needed. 
just didn't click until now. I guess I repressed those memories! Shit. Okay, I'm fine. I'm not fine. <laughs> Too fast. I'm gonna try and play with the analog stick, even though it feels wrong. I don't know. I don't know why, but the the D pad on the Wii U controller. I'm not sure why, but it, it hurts my thumb. After a while, I had the same thing when I was playing um, Mario Maker. Even though, yeah, this this feels completely wrong. I think I better look after my thumb in this case. I think it's just slightly too small. I've said this before, but they, they had the D-pad right with the Super Nintendo controller. And they keep reinventing the wheel. Oops. That was like the perfect size D-pad. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, okay, it's fine. That's the downside of the analog stick. Oh, d no, yep, no, my fine control is... Okay, I have to use the D-pad here. It's fine, look. The, the left-hand side is when I'm using an analog stick. <laughs> the right-hand side is... Okay, D-pad. I think I found a comfortable way to use the D-pad a little bit. It's not as accurate, but it's not hurting my the tip of my thumb as much. Thank you very much. I did that. Okay, now don't mess up. Yeah, you can't. Oh, you, yeah, you can't kick it up. Oh, I don't like this. All right, but it has to be this.
All right, that was the ghost house. Um, bombarded by b bombs. That sounds like fun. I love, I love that there's a skull before I enter the stage. What on earth? 110 what? 110 what? What did I get 110 of? <laughs> what? 100 and- oh! No, okay, I have to collect, right, okay. Scrolling speed. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that definitely is not not ob not obvious. But that's what it meant. But now it's cl it's clear. Oh. This is different. Underground the bomb. Never liked these stages. In Mario 3, I don't know. I, I would use the uh the P at this point and just fly over the whole stage. That's what I saved them for. That can get me through the wall, can't it? Just what I needed. Crap. Oh, this is... Sir, please. <laughs> you know what? I don't mind that I took that hit. Because that sounded completely normal. Did not kill my inner childhood. Inner child moment. Inner childhood child moment. Wait, hold on. What's over here? Huh? Oh, shut up. <laughs> really? Already out of time. I needed to get another 50 coins. Where? Where were the... Alright, gotcha, boom boom. I was not gonna get... Where was I gonna get 50 coins? Alright, whatever. Next! Uh, magical, oh no. And there's an ice symbol, ugh. Ice stage. Oh. Childhood nightmare. Now, would you call this level design, or would you call this lazy? This feels like- it feels like I'm playing Mario Maker. Someone's level. Yeah. Good, I'm glad someone else said it. Hey streamer, play my play my level. You're gonna have fun. Gotcha. Oh I hate this. Nope, this is yep. Yep, no, this is Okay. That right there. <laughs> Exclamation. 
Oh, don't keep coming back. Okay. Ah. I don't- I don't care. <laughs> I'm not 100 percenting this. Switch of room. Let's see what this is. Right, I'm not gonna assume that the waterfall is like Mario 2's waterfall. We've seen Mario 2 elements here. What? Okay, maybe I do have to go there. Oh, wait, there are waterfalls in Mario 3. Visually different. Alright. Listen, I grew up on the NES version of the game. Seeing it in this visual style, it's just, it's playing with me a little bit. Oh. oh. I see. Ha uh ha, -huh. I got the name of the stage now. Can't grab and swim at the same time. Yeah, I'm not trying to 100% this. I just want a look at the stages. If you wanna put, if you wanna 100% uh, it, just purchase the game. Oh wait, not so fast. That's a stab at Nintendo taking down the eShop. What I needed. This belongs in World 7, quite clearly. Yeah, this is... This is World 7! <laughs> Just straight out of World 7. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a rejected World 7 level or like an ex a leftover. Oh, mia. Now, if this is Mar if this is Mario 3, do I have Hang on. No. Okay, hold on. 
I thought maybe I would have the uh, the power ups, you know, that you rely on to get through stages in Mario Three. This is just like a massive kick in in the balls. The stage. I have I would have no problem doing this on the NES because the jumping muscle memory, but this, it's just so slightly different. To what I'm used to, that it's enough to just make me miss and not be able to stand on the edge. If this was the NES version, I'd like stand on the corner and cons constantly bounce off the edges and be safe the whole time. I'd be able to do it. Oh, this is. <laughs> I mean, I suppose the nice thing is if I don't like this stage, I can just skip it. I needed. This this definitely feels like Mario Maker stage again. This is another hey streamer, play my level for 40 minutes. I'm going to put. I'm going to put a budget on this one in terms of time. If I can't finish this in the next 10 minutes, I'm skipping it. I'm sure you get the gist of it. It's ha 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 ha, funny pipe level. The iframes do not last anywhere near as, as long as they used to. This is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. Ah, oh, this isn't fun! Just what I needed! I'm, go I'm going to lose my mind. Like slowly turning into Gollum. Oh my god. Five more. You know what? No, I'll just have a game over. If I game over, I'm done with this stage. Please. I'm not going for that coin. Okay. Ugh. Here I, go. I thought it was going to change. did it. <laughs> the second, the pacing of that was weird. Anyway. Uh, swinging bars of doom. Wait. 
Oh, that sprite looks weird, the colours on it. Why, why am I going for the coins? It's not like there's some overarching bonus I get for this. This is bonus content in a game that hardly anyone got to play. like the maze it might let's see no it didn't no. i was worried it was going to turn into the classic mario one mazes where you have to go in a particular direction where you don't progress just what i needed it just seemed that way it had that vibe but we're okay i was about to fall Please, uh, right at the end, I just need to... Perfect. What? Oh, well, that's a first. Double boom boom. You know, I'm surprised I never did that. Now that I look at that, that seems to make sense. A way to escalate the challenge is put, put two of them. As a talented enough artist, I would draw a custom thumbnail for this and just have Mario crouched in the fetal position in a, in a dark room and just all over the walls it just says just what I needed. Just, yep, just crying. Bags under his eyes like he hasn't slept in over a week. Nostalgia's a motherfucker, that's all I gotta say, is like, every time I, I wanna go for that coin, it's just inner child going, you have to get the coin, you have to get all the dragon coins, you have to. Oh, see, I was expecting... Okay, maybe not. Just 
話題に。<笑>
surprised he doesn't say something when he wins. Okay, uh, Para Beetle Challenge. Chat, have you heard the Super Mario World 3 song? It goes, it goes to the music of this song. It'll ruin you a little if you haven't heard it. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> What? I must have been on a platform or something. But see, this is the kind of stage where if it came up in Mario 3, I would 100% use the P. Or at the very least have, uh... Like, Tanuki, you know? This is just... This is just... Ugh. 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 This is, this is, again, just, I feel like I'm playing Mario Maker right now. So, I mean, yes. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta line this up. Alright. I'm muting, I'm muting the game audio and you get to hear the song. Okay. Here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't finish it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, listen, you get the idea. Oh dear. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Vigorous masturbation. I'm not sorry. I hate this. I'm not sorry. I thought these were going to be chill stages. Just what I need. I was mistaken in how I thought this was going to go. Oh my god, this 
stage just keeps going, man. I hate- I, I really don't like the stage chat. I really don't. The stress level is so high right now. Oh yeah, that's not happening. Fuck that. Oh, mia. Um, I might skip this one. I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Ooh, this one. Okay, the thing is, if I was playing this through a normal playthrough of Mario 3, it, that doesn't even matter. What would happen here is I would have the uh, the leaf, and I'd be able to control my traje trajectory a little bit easier, you know? Or a worst case, I'd just use a P and just fly through the rest of it. It'd be no problem. But man, I, I get it. It's a tester skill. I get it. Is it something that I'm completely in the mood for right now? Not completely. Do this game over. How about that? But I might just skip this one. This one just... Much like Mario Maker. If something becomes too frustrating and it's completely optional, I'm like, I'm good. I have nothing to prove here. My feeling is definitely coming into play right now. Oh, wow, look at that. Game over. What? A, what? I don't have to keep trying? Okay, nice. Yeah, I didn't find that stage fun. A musical track. Oh. Speaking of stages, I don't find fun. the comment earlier, why don't you just hold the button? This is why. This is me holding the button. That's not how these note blocks work. You have to press it at the right time. Clearly not a Mero player. thing. I was just, I was always terrible at the timing. It's almost, it's funny just when you have to do multiple of these jumps in a row. That's almost like a rhythm game. Oh. I thought I would, I thought I had died there. This is just a, a side area, I see. Ah, oh, 
musical note blocks. I guess I should just worry when it says it's a musical stage. as long as I could. Oh. <sighs> Didn't press it. In time... This feels like Mario 3 The Lost Levels. Oops, wrong button. Let's try and see if any of the triggers did anything. Just to maybe ease... Them. Oh my god! <laughs> Did so many in a row. As a practice, and then I, I fuck it up the moment I have to jump up across. I'm gonna be hearing that in my sleep. I'm gonna wake up in a cold sweat. And a just dreaming of this musical block hell. Oh, ah. I'll take this over the previous stage, though. This, whilst, yeah, I mean, this is just an inner child moment. I just hated these blocks as a kid, and as an adult, it still feels the same. I'll get over it. The previous level was just annoying. one from the set. Come on, I can do it. I can spend in the air and not, uh oh, and not relying on the jumps off this thing. <laughs> I have better chances of 
finishing the stage. Ah. I can't shake off the inner child just panicking. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god. Alright, it's done. I didn't skip this one as well, so give me credit. Oh, wait. There... Alright, you know what? I, I have an item. But th that is not going to be useful in the slightest. I may as well have nothing. Uh, the armored airship. How many have we got left to do? Alright, there's a few. There's a few. I wonder what makes this different from a standard airship. It tricked me into doing the first. <sighs> I fell for it. <laughs> Thank you for the raid as well, permanent. Just saw that pop up. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm checking out the uh, e-readers from. I don't know the, the name of the game because it, it it always confuses me, but this GBA version of Mario 3, whatever they chose to call it. That series had the worst naming convention ever. It was like Super Mario Advance, and then it was whatever the game was, so it was the first one was Super Mario Advance, Super Mario Bros. 2. And then I can't remember how the rest go. This is either Super Mario Advance 2, Super Mario 3, or Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario 3. I think it's Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. It's just the worst name. Uh, sort of. Sometimes I'm doing fine, sometimes it feels like I'm playing Mario Maker, and it's just one of those levels that take you 40 minutes to complete. Some of them are cool though, some of them have elements from Mario 2 or Super Mario World, so they've been interesting. Yeah, thank you so much. Ah! Uh, I looked at the screen for a sec. Thank you for the follow, whoever, whoever said... Uh. Sorry. <laughs> and yeah, I never played the GBA version and the voices just freak me out. It just feels wrong. Oh, it's not over yet. Okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, how's the stream permanent? What were you up to? Okay, pipe. Go in. Iggy? I can't remember the names properly. Oh, just.
Yeah, I mean, that felt pretty standard for a ship level. Uh, uh, that's an ice level. Alright. What, what fresh hull awaits? <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to have voice acting in this Mario. I don't know. I just, I cannot get used to it. Just what I needed. FF7 challenge run? Oh, cool. Yeah. But no matter how many times I hear it, I just, I won't get used to it. I just... I have this. I know what I have this association that's kind of flawed, but a bunch of Flash games would sample these voices. Now it, it clicked before, because I felt like I'd, I'd heard them before, but I could not pinpoint where. And it's just every single bootleg Mario game I played had these voice voices in it, and I just I just can't. It, this just feels like a bootleg, but it's not. The line that kills me the most is when he picks up the power up. Excellent. <laughs> oh no. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Oh man. My inner child dies every time he says it. Gotcha. Oh, well, rip. I'm sure I'll be fine. I did not realize that... Oh, I wonder if all the other GBA versions of these games do this. So I heard that some of them had enhancements and they were worth checking out. But if they if all of them do this, I don't know man, I don't know if I can get through it. Just what I needed. For an ice stage, you know what? This isn't too bad. Uh... No? What is this? Okay, hang on. It's probably in the air. I mean, I've missed a coin, so it's not like it matters, but I want to find out. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sky High Adventure. I mean, you would assume, right? Oh. I'm good. I'm gonna stick with what I have. So what? Have I have I missed the point of this stage? Well, can't get up there now. So that was Sky High Adventure. Yeah. 
sea to sky. This is, oh. Wait, what? Isn't that a Super Mario World upgrade? I have to get that. I have to get that. I I'm curious as to what it's going to do. Still work. Should just be an upgrade straight to the cape. Assuming it does what it does. I may be too late already. Wow, that timing. I'm going to get this. Can I grab? No, I can't. Alright, I just gotta be quick. I may have wasted time though. Ah, oh, come on! If I was big, I would have had it. If there's a mushroom anywhere, I can come back. Oh no, it undoes it. Uh. I need a mushroom. Mushroom, please. Oh, no. work? Oh, it's just... Wait. Oh, no, I'm wrong. This is... What? Oh, this is like... This is weird. Cool, but weird. All right, um, for the next one, pick a number between one and four, chat, because clearly I can't, I can't pick a winner. That's like, hold on. Oh, you can make a restore point. Hmm. No, I won't resort to that. Or I'll just use like a random number generator. Four? All right. So four is like this one. Wow, good job. Just what I needed. In the truest sense. That's exactly what I needed. Good guess. Best time, best time. Here we go. Oh wow, this is... Does this function the same? Or is this just... Reskinned? What the? Oh no, it works. It works kind of. Yeah, I think it works the same. Hang on. Sorry, I'm just weirded out by this.
I can't do it. Practicing. Okay. Wow. This is kind of cool. Okay, I missed Treasure Island, but you know what? It's fine. Oh. Can't do that jump. <laughs> Alright. Hey, you know what the oh, frog. No, get that get that wretched thing away from me. Nope. 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 Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's not about to happen. I'd I'd rather just swim this way. game of avoid the frog now. <laughs> Alright. Guess, guess I'm a frog now. This was one of those power-ups that was rarely useful. I mean, there weren't that many underwater stages. Maybe its usefulness is a bit better now. That did not last as long as I thought it would. like that. I'm happy with that. Oh, what? Where's the exit? It's in the sky, isn't it? This is cool. Uh-oh. Okay. That's neat. I like this. Please tell me this gives me one too. Uh, no, you know what? I probably don't have time. I have 60 seconds. As much as I want to see the rest of that. It's a shoe. Oh, it's a shoe stage. I like shoe stages. It's the, the stages. shoes so far. There we 
we go. I don't know why I like the shoe stages, they're just fun. Oh, Except when you forget that that happens with shoes. <laughs> Whoops. I thought I was gonna stand on it, I don't know why. There should be a way to get back. If that coin is there, I bet that's a shoe in there. Would make sense. Yeah, there we go. This might work out better now. Now, now this makes sense. Oh, this is not cool. I hate this. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I thought that was gonna come down and thump. At least I won't run out of lives here.
Let's see if this works. Nope. I mean, so far, aside from the elements that are from other games, these stages fit pretty well into it. My best not to mess this up. Okay, now. Now. There we go, there we go. I that one's gonna be across, the other one's gonna be down. No, nope, they're both across. Uh, yeah, look. Let's just go in here. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is either an ice stage or it's a sliding stage. It's an ice stage. Ugh. Wait. Aren't, aren't these from Yoshi's Island? They're from, they're from Yoshi's Island. What are they doing here? Okay, it's Super Mario World now. bizarre that they relegated these stages to just the obscure cards you know like these are these are fun stages it'd be like the equivalent in these days if they released a mario game and then 40 stages were just locked behind five amiibos or something like that me to death. Oof, that scared me a little. Stop giving them ideas. I'm not. Please, no one from Nintendo watches this. This is swinging more and more each time. Okay, but like, 
This is scary because I don't know what, what's going to become of this. Interesting. It's different. Uh, ice cubed. Oh, this is, is an ice castle. Damn it! I'm trying to just. Deal with that right away. I don't know. Right, right now. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. I, I'm kind of getting vibes from a particular Mega Man stage. Now, not anymore, but out there I was. Okay. Ah, the classic. with it. Just what I needed. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> I jumped too early. Uh, that was dumb. Finger slipped. Yeah, best just ignore this right now. Is it is it really just what you needed? It wasn't the previous thing you got. This is a case of just what I needed. Just fight through the paint. Chain them. <laughs> Puzzling. Uh, it's a pipe maze. We'll see how we go. Hopefully it doesn't belong in Pipe World. So far, the le yeah, oh, yeah, this is... This seems like an alternate version of a level 7 stage. World 7 stage. assessment. Ah, oh. slow. Unless they respawn. No, I missed it. It's okay. Leap of faith! I don't want 
de Oza. I mean, yeah, that feels like a standard Mario 3 stage. Okay. Oh, and we're nearly there. Uh, Towering Tour. Oh boy. These things. in Mario 3, were they? I can't remember. The lines are blurred a little. Okay, these definitely weren't. This, this is like a Mario Maker thing. I mean, I guess it's this, but then Mario Maker took it from this. I mean, these did appear in Mario 64, but not in a 2D Mario... I feel like... I guess this would have been the first instance they used it, huh? I mean, it's neat. Uh, just... <laughs> I give up. I give up. thing is I don't know what, I don't know what to call this VOD later because if I go by the str the title of the game what happened there what what did I die to was I not paying it's like really not paying that much attention This wasn't a timeout thing. It must have been one of those uh, blocks that can damage you. Good, good work. Okay, it was that thing. There we go. It... Oh. Okay, never mind. It was like, this stage feels familiar. It does, but... It's kind of like, um... <sighs> I forget which stage it is, but there's there's a particular stage where you have to climb up to get to the sky. This is the reverse of it. Drop. 
I mean, it's cool. What? No reward for getting up here? Man, come on. Not even a one-up. Disappointment. So I'm so glad. Just what I needed. Your dreams are coming true. Can I just? I mean, yes. The answer is yes, but. That involves copious amounts of fucking myself over. Neat stage. Uh, Castle Dash. Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> On another Mario Maker stage, I see. Don't have the timing right. Lucky. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm good. Okay, this is cool. I like those platforms when they do stuff with it. Running upside down. Land. <laughs> Landmines. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Minesweeper? I'm seeing a bunch of new stuff. Okay, in all honesty, if, like, if I was young enough to not have experienced the NES version of, uh, of Super Mario 3, I think I would have been happy with this. 
Although I guess I wouldn't have, have had access to the A-rated levels, but still, they're fun. Hey, Pat, thank you so much for the raid. Sorry, I was trying to not die. How's it going? Hang on. Ah! Yeah, welcome everyone. I'm checking out the uh, e-reader levels of the GBA version of Mario 3 because I refuse to call it by its real name. I'm not even 100% sure I remember its real name. <laughs> Hello, Vintage. Yeah, uh, look. That's fine. I could go for the coins, or we could be here for another hour. Yeah, so the story behind this is uh, for the GBA version of... Mario 3, for those that don't know, um, there were a bunch of bonus levels that were exclusive to these cards that you would scan with uh, a reader accessory. And uh, up until the Wii U, they were never made available, so... This is uh, playing on the Wii U Virtual Console, but you can also play these levels on the uh, Switch's online service with the uh, expansion pack. But... I don't think that, uh, it's worth it, so I, I picked this up before the eShop shut down. Oh, Crap. There's a bunch of neat stuff for this, um... Some notable other ones is they brought in elements from Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 2. So... There's been some pretty neat... Pretty neat stages. Oh, and Yoshi's Island a little bit as well. There's a bit of everything. But at its core, it's still, uh, I guess like Mario All-Stars, Mario 3. With voices for some reason that I still can't get used to. I, I just, I can't. It, it just, it just sounds so wrong. And almost every single bootleg Mario game I played had these voices at some point, so it just doesn't feel right to me. The ghost laughter I can, I can ignore. It's more the Mario voices, like everything is just what he needs. Oh my god. <laughs> that jump. Mamma mia, oh my god, just what I needed. Yeah. Oh, this definitely feels like something you would get in a Mario Maker stage. There, there have been a couple of them. Ah! Oh, oh no, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, yeah, anyway, Pat, how, how is the stream, what were you playing? Got a little caught up in my platforming and forgot to ask. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm sure the coins are all well and good, but... Got it. Ah, dark! <laughs> Too early. <laughs> it's a fun stage, though. Ugh. It's because I'm not used to the jumping. In I never really played the Super Nintendo version of Mario, any of the Mario All-Star games. And so in my mind, it's like, oh, I'm playing Mario 3, so I, I have this... This memory of how the jumps should behave, and it's not quite the same. The gravity is slightly different. I'm 
just fighting muscle memory here a little bit. Wow, that jump. Oof. It does seem like it has a ROM hack quality to it a little bit. Now that I think about it. No. <laughs> I, I'm trying to leave the jump for the very last second. Because it, it just seems like if I go too early, it's just going to fail. All right, come on. This is the one. These stages are fun. There's quite a bit of them. Like, what are we on? It's like... 33? Uh, it's pretty, pretty sizable. A bit weird that, uh, yeah, these were all exclusive to an accessory that was... I wouldn't say obscure, just no one really bothered with it. But there you go. Uh... Super Mario World enemy. Oh, okay. Good work. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. <laughs> I can't get used to it. It's worth it's worth a look. I, I think it's definitely worth a playthrough. I've had a lot of fun with it so far. And yeah, if you have uh, Nintendo Switch Online or you've managed to pick this up before Nintendo shut down the eShop on the Wii U. Oh yeah, there you go, Mario 2 stuff. It's worth a play. I wonder if there might be a way to maybe not have the voices. I, I think it would be fun. Ah! <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> It'd be fine if he had more than one voice line for picking up a power-up, but the problem is it's the same line. And you just hear it so often. Just what I needed. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that these stages were uh, effectively paywalled behind some cards.
As weird as some of them may be, they are official Nintendo levels. I'm afraid that there's an abyss. This is strange that I'm going in this direction. Did I just go all the way back here just for this coin? No. It's fine. Yeah, E for E-reader. <laughs> it's an E-coin. Don't worry, this was well before crypto. It's not... not crypto-related. Vexing doors. Yeah, and then you get this weird, like, in between. It, it, this is the ghost house from Super Mario World, but with graphics of Super Mario All Stars. Like, if it would be in Mario 3, it's, it's weird. It's, it doesn't look right, does it? Really, Mario? It's what you needed? You don't say. Just that. Can't get up there. Tried playing these but couldn't do it and went back to ROM hacks. As in, just didn't enjoy it? <laughs> or, it, like, actually incapable? These, these are alright. There are a couple that I did not like. But it's worth a look at. It's an interesting little piece of history. Can't really compare with ROM hacks. ROM hacks just offer more. Oh, okay. That's it. That's all it was for this. I hope that was the right call. Oh. I know it's coming every time, but it, it just kills me. I, I just, I can't. <laughs> so, 
just what I needed. No. I would I would hurry up, I would. It's just this is moving at a snail's pace. So there's not a whole lot I can do about that. <laughs> hey Mario, why aren't you hurrying up? You haven't got much time left on, on the clock. Why aren't you taking this more seriously? And moving with a sense of urgency. Just what I needed. What on earth is Oh, okay. Yikes. Really? I have 10 seconds to beat this. Wow. That's, uh, hmm. That's a lot. Um, can I just go straight there? I feel like that's nowhere near enough time required to explore everything and, yeah, get to the, the goal. I just don't think it's enough. Oh, crap. Alright, well, I know the way though now. Said that. I got I got it this time. I got it this time. I had the right idea, I just uh fell on my face at the end there. stage, but I, I feel like there's not enough time to explore the whole thing in a comfortable level. Cape to scape.
There's only one title, the voice, yeah. It's okay, you can be honest. This, this weirds me out that this is in here, but it is. I mean, I... oh. DIY. DIY. Alright, uh, we are uh, at groundwork. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Has the Mario 2 dig mechanic. <laughs> so this is like a sort of half Mario 2 stage. And I got what I deserved. Okay. Do you remember this game? Did you play the bonus stages at all? The ones that you had to collect a bunch of cards to be able to play in the first place? These are those stages. Oops. Wait, hedgehogs? What? so much. Every fiber of my being. Just what I needed. Okay. And we move on. And Aqueous Adventure. Underwater. For once. There weren't that many water stages in this. Oh, wait, is this? This is like... This just seems like a bridge. Oh, no, it is. There we go. How does that work? How does fire work underwater?
it, I thought that this theme kind of had similarities with the Simpsons theme. I don't know why. Just particular parts of it just reminded me of the Simpsons theme. Are you confusing this with Mario All-Stars? Because he did not talk in Mario All-Stars. This is the Game Boy Advance uh, version of it, which he talks, and I just hate it. Every time he opens his mouth, I, uh, I just die a little on the inside. Because if you're talking about the Super Nintendo version, that's Mario All-Stars. This is something else. That's what I needed! Like, yeah, this is, uh, all the Game Boy Advance bonus content. Bowser's Last Stand. It was the Super Nintendo? Yeah, then it wasn't this. This is, uh, the Game... Game Boy Advance... E-Reader bonus levels. So, the only way you could play these levels were if you purchased a set of cards, and then had the e-reader. Which a lot of people did not, so... But they re-released them for the Wii U, and you can play them currently on the Nintendo Switch Online subscription service. So is this just a, like an alternate version of the final castle? Oh. Crap, I thought it was gonna go to the end. Let's go! Oh yeah, that's what I needed! Mamma mia! Oh. Mamma mia! <laughs> Maybe we should do the bonus stage. They should have left them silent. I know. I know. But the thing is, I bet there are people out there that have nostalgia for this version of the game and they love it. They wouldn't even think anything about the voice, because... This is just coming from just not having a voice in the Mario game until Mario 64, pretty much. I mean, I don't count Baby Mario, but you know. What I needed. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, this is don't jump. One of these is. Even in 64, he only talked during the opening, I suppose. Just what I need. He just he just made noises, happy noises. Is this death? Kinda. Of. 
and uh, so long Bowser. Which is what Charles says is the lion, but I think we all know what the lion sounded like. So long King Bowser was what he said. He said it said. I don't believe it. It's gonna say these statues are gonna shoot. I played Mario 64 recently. Ah, last year. <laughs> but all the VODs are on the VODs channel. What the- oh! Wow, subversion of expectation here. Update edit. Okay, I can't rely on- I can't rely on muscle memory here. Wow. That was- yeah, that was different AI. At least it felt like it, I don't know. Usually he's just a dummy and goes after you over and over again, but that was different. Uh, yeah, I think you'll enjoy the Mario 64 playthrough. Um, just a bunch of different reasons, I'm not gonna say why. The saltiest I got at a, at a game in, in 2022. Nintendo control, but <laughs> Wait, we do it in Mario Maker 2, and <laughs> and they don't like it. I've I've skipped one level that I was like, nah, I'm good. If this was Mario Maker, I would have done the same thing. So to be fair, I have been very very objective in playing. I gave it the same treatment. 
I skipped one of the levels. I was like, nah, you know what? I'm good. Not for me, this one. Kind of afraid now because it just did not do the same thing as usual. Oh, now, now it's being normal. Wow. I feel like I can't give up on this one. This seems like an easier version of the castle, it's just the fight is, is more annoying, which I guess balances out. Like the same, maybe the path I picked as well, but... It doesn't seem too bad. hacks of this game that just silence Mario. There's like a quiet Mario patch. I bet there's one. <laughs> be the first thing I'd be looking for. I'll piss off. That's what I needed. Thank you. No, I mean, the soundtrack is classic. Everything is as you would expect. It's just, man. I don't know how they didn't find this annoying. Maybe I'm just too cynical. Or too much of a Mario 3 purist. Impatient. Game over doesn't really mean anything here. if these things were designed in a way that they could just keep releasing more levels this way. Maybe that was their intent. If these would have taken off, like, I wonder if they would have kept releasing more Mario 3 cards. 
does make you wonder. <laughs> kind of Nintendo's earliest attempt at a DLC, yeah. But I guess with cards? A DLC, but fun. Just what I needed. Oh, I'm so impatient. Oh, so that was my bad. I feel like even if I didn't go for the coin, that would have ended poorly. been easier to start Donkey Kong Country 3. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna start Donkey Kong because I'm not in the mood for anything too difficult. I, I, I honestly didn't know what these stages were. I just remembered, oh wait, yeah, I wanted to check out the e-reader levels from the GBA Mario 3. That sounds like fun. It has been fun, just some of them have had more of a platforming challenge that I, than I would have thought. Which, yeah, I mean, no, not really a complaint, just more of a unexpected thing. Especially when the first set were just uh, reimaginations of uh, Mario One stages, I thought, oh, okay, this is this is what we're expecting, huh? Just what I needed, yes. Okay. Ah, oh, I messed up. Um, this is even. Oh, it's just a coin. Who cares? Because I saw that and I was cured. Why doesn't that work? Just what I needed. <laughs> I'm going to be hearing this in my sleep. Just what I needed. Wow. that. <laughs> okay, hold on. 
<laughs> Just what I needed. <laughs> I can't anymore with these voices. How could they not see? How could they not see? Just how utterly repetitive it is. Okay, we've arrived. Finally. Just have to survive the home stretch. Dun 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 Man, there's just no way to predict it, huh? You just have to assume every every fireball is gonna go that way. Yep. This AI is, is insane. This is definitely much more worthy of a final fight. Oh my god. Dude. This AI is ridiculous. There we go, normal, thank you. Need to get him up here, this is like the safest way to pinch him. Okay. God. All right. I'm safe from Fireball. Oh, oh you asshole. <sighs> that is, that AI change is insane. Close. Almost had it. It's, it's so unpredictable. <laughs> Wait, what is that emoji? Why is there a pair of buttocks on my screen? I have to use the word buttocks, because that's what it is. The power of the booty, I guess. It certainly makes it more worthy of a final fight, I will say that. 
Because, yeah, once, once you know how he works, it's it's not that big a deal as a final fight. The, at least the original version, you know? This is definitely more worthy. That didn't happen. Dun, 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 dun. The AI is just so much more annoying. Oh my god, I jumped. Stupid. to give up but this is this is really hard and it's just it's a fight that i've just seen so many times like i know the end result of this but it doesn't even end the game there's more stages after this this is just a bonus it's not like we get a cutscene. it's like yeah congratulations you finished the game that's not it at all this, this may as well be a Mario Maker stage. to go like a few minutes without hearing that voice line. And 
there goes that. Oh, okay. I picked the, uh... The OK Satan route. What the fuck? Oh no, I have, I have quite clearly fucked myself by coming up here. Yeah, no, let's not do that again. Yeah, not doing that again. Okay. Well, you know what? For some vari for some variety. Variation, variety. Oh, I've regret this already. Yep. That's what I got. Wow, I chose the right path the first time, huh? Just what I needed. And we're not doing that again. Insane how different that difficulty is. I'll check out door number three just for completion's sake, you know? You get to taste it all. And that's door number three. All right, great. We're going back to door number two. Going back to door number two. You've seen it all. I just thought, oh, you know what? Maybe one of the other doors might be a bit easier. Nope. Absolutely not. This is the correct door. Definitely the correct ball. care that I lost the pickup. It shut Mario up. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Path. 
No, thank you. I feel like the sh he shoots and he jumps immediately, which makes it harder to dodge as well. Survive two more. Oh. You dickhead! <laughs> Jumped right away. How am I supposed to predict that? It's just it's just random. Like he might just jump. He might just jump. Yeah, it's just... Cry. Because it'd be fine if it was random, but at least he sort of telegraphed it a little bit, but he doesn't. It's just... He'll shoot and jump immediately. Jeez. Only ten. I was trying to see if there was a pattern, like maybe it went three, two, one, or something like that, but it nope. It's just random as random. Feels like I'm fighting this thing as a boss. <laughs> it's just hope where it attacks you is convenient. Yep. Stupid. I was trying to. I don't know what I was trying to do. Thinking I'll oh, fly. Somehow that hit me, okay. Why is this hitting me all of a sudden? <laughs> Okay, hold on. <sighs> it's getting a little warm in here. I took off my hoodie. Getting a little heated. 
But I, I don't want to make this 40 minutes of attempting. How hot is it? No, it's not hot at all. It's, uh, hold up. Yeah, it's, I mean, 10 Celsius. It's not, it's cold. This, this room, it gets warm because electronics in here. I also got the door shut, so. That keeps this room nice and warm. In the case of winter and summer, I have to keep the door open. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Yes. matter of execution now. Man, jumping is just such a liability. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. That was dumb, but, you know what? It just makes this easier to avoid. Oh, wanker. Oh. Wow, he actually reaches both times. Alright, that's my bad. I thought he'd only... ...angle it, and it would just go a little higher. I'm kind of torn, because on the one hand, I think it's cool that it's harder, but on the other, I think... I just can't predict what he's going to do. That, that sucks. A simple way they could have... Just a simple telegraph, like even a sound, just as he's a like as he fires a particular fireball, like something that'll make you go, "Oh shit, he's gonna jump on this one." Give you that extra half second of reaction instead of just being like, "Oh no, he jumped." that's just added these unnecessary sounds to Mario that they've just left uh, Bowser as is. Oh, ah. 
Okay, if I don't get this on not this game over, the next game over, I'm gonna have to move on. So I don't, I don't want this to be the rest of the stream. There's other levels to check and look. It's the final fight. You see how how hard it is. I'm not doing a completionist thing on this by any means. Just wanted to check these out, because I thought they were cool, and they are. But yeah, I don't want this to be the next hour, especially since this wasn't really something where, oh, yay, this is the last stage and we get to see the end credits and all that. It's nothing like that at all. It's just a selection of stages. Last floor. <laughs> Come on. I can't believe how insanely hard it makes it just... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> just to get the coin. Alright. Yeah, go and... Yeah, no. Predictable. Love it. I got faked out. I thought he was going to go again. Man. If, if this is just exclusive to the stage that he does this, or if in this version of the game that's how the final fight is, because if that's the case, jeez. I needed. Oh, that was stupid. Went too early. Okay, it's fine. This will resolve itself in the next room, provided I don't take a hit.
Why? Why from the other direction? Okay. Ugh. So how how am I how am I supposed to predict? <laughs> that was close. Dude. Oh, this is so unmanageable. He almost got me. I don't like this position I'm in. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Alright, this is the final game over. Let's set. So if I can't get it in this set of lives, I'm done. That's just... There's other stages to see. I don't want to hyper-focus on this. That's pretty brutal. I can't reliably predict how it's gonna go. room through this, hopefully. left. I thought I was going to make it. You know, if this was the final, final stage, this would be worthy. It'd be like, yeah, good way to wrap it up. Lost two lives. I always have the option to save scum, but I don't know if I want to do that. 
I try not to do that. I'd rather say that I failed. Don't get hit. Oh, that was like right on the edge of the spawn. Okay, RNG, can you calm down, please? <laughs> Let's just cool it with the just dick bag moves. Just appearing directly underneath me three times in a row. I don't like this position I'm in. Damn it, I was trying to be smart. I was trying to... Okay, okay, this is, this is good, this is good. Provided he doesn't fuck me on the next two jumps. Took too long. <laughs> yeah, so that was that stage. Cool. Uh, Koopaling confusion. What is this? It's a boat stage. Just what I needed. People in confusion. Why? Why do they call it that? Oh no! 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 no. Please no! Oh, mamma mia! 
I panicked. I was like, alright, let it shoot its first shot, and then... And then go. Just what I needed. I'm just gonna ignore you. I don't have to fight you. You're non-threatening. I just ignore you and just walk past. I don't know why I'm trying to murder everything. It comes to no real benef- oh. No kidding. Okay. Now we're fine. Now we're fine. Oh. This is this is different. That was, uh, lucky. Oh, it's a power block. Yeah, that was really lucky. <laughs> I know. I hit it- I hit it as I collided. It's probably like a frame difference there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Really, that did nothing? What? Oh, no, it did. <laughs> okay. It did. Wow. Nice. I was gonna say. Yeah, it took two hits away from it. So I made the fight trivial. Alright, cool. Bowser's Airship 1, Bowser's Airship 2. I don't know what PI is. Promo? Is this just a repeat of, um... No, okay. I was gonna say, is this just... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I know what this- I already know what this is now. Okay, yeah, I mean, I don't think I want to see the rest of the stage. I know what this is already. So this is the Mario Brothers 3 stage, but in reverse. Um, okay, no, maybe not. That- that is not it. It looked like it for a sec. The start of it was just, like, very familiar. Okay, maybe there's more to it. Retry that. Just what I needed. A perfectionist. <laughs> ah! Mamma mia! Oh. Okay, you know what? Let's go. 
Hit the bowl three times, all right? Oh, it's like a weird... Okay, I mean, I guess if I want one-ups, it's not what I want. On oh, power-ups. Alright, pick a number between one and four. Quickly. I'll do the first one. I picked three, so three was incorrect. Yep, yep. I'll go two this time. Yep, yep, yep. This time it was three. All right, pick a number. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it until someone picks. <laughs> I'm just bad at picking numbers, apparently. One. No, it was neither one or three. Alright, I'm gonna try this time. I'm going for four. Damn it. No. It's not really just what I needed. I mean, not for the stage that I'm doing. Alright, now I'm gonna pick one. Yeah, that's what I needed. Okay. my my life here for this. Just let the stage order scroll. Feels like it's it's almost drifting a little. Like I'm overshooting jumps. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know why. Maybe I'm getting tired. Could just be the scrolling, I'm just not calculating the jumps. Yeah, see there I ran past and I have been playing this for a while, but I wanted to check out all the stages, so... Get a few more guys at it. But I should treat this like Mario Maker. If I'm not feeling the stage, I should just skip it. To be honest, <laughs> this airship stage... In the original Mario 3, I would I would uh, use the P power and just fly because it was just annoying for me. Okay. 
I don't care about that. Brothers, I really do. Uh, I hate them. I, I just, I hate them. It's just, I'm paralyzed here. Ever since I was a little kid, the, just the bane of my existence in any Mario game. Definitely seems to be like a little bit of bias moving into the left direction. It might just be the stage, but I feel like I'm just running too much to the left easily. Like I'm having to just slightly tap left as to not overshoot. Consider this. This is me pressing right. This is me pressing left. Right, left. See that? I'm not imagining it. I think it's just the stage. Now it's back to normal. in here. Okay. All right, wanker. Just go, just go, just go, just go. is the end. I was going to say. Alright, cool. Uh, Bowser's Airship 2 and then Airship's Revenge. Uh, am I really in the mood for three airship levels? Let's see. Oh. No, this is... Okay, this is part two. Okay, so it's like... Continuity, I guess. Oh, 
Why don't I have this here? Just checking, just checking. Maybe there was a hidden mushroom or something. Let me guess the third time. No? Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was lucky. Almost got shot in the face. that long. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. If I would have survived only a few more seconds, I would have had a second upgrade. Ship levels, man. For memes. We'll see how long I can survive as a frog. I have the upgrade, I mean, why not? Gotta get used to its weird jumping. <laughs> Alright, well, on the plus side. I guess that's a good trade. not worth it. I should have just let that go. Okay, okay, okay. I got, I got, I got it back. I got it back. How did I get through that? I can't believe I got through that. Yep. <laughs> it's fine. In the control. I probably should have gone. This is not a, like, wait-and-see thing. Nice. Whatever was behind it, I got it. Okay, 
not not liking this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, I'm not doing this a second time, chat. Fuck that. So just alternate versions of the final fight, that's cool. I mean, this one, less of a hassle, because I guess there's more room to move. It's still annoying. Oh my god, this music. <laughs> oh shit. Bowser's pissed. I didn't think that, that could happen. Alright, well I did it. Speaking of airship levels, airship's revenge. Ugh, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. It's the revenge of the airship. Can't see half of the shit coming. Mm. The coins are anything to go by, the stage is done. What they're about. What is this? Remember if you quake, you might quake. All right, it doesn't matter. Gotcha. No more airships. Uh, no time to dawdle. Second last stage. Probably just speed running. Okay, yep. 
Oh, what on earth? I think I just have to run under them. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. Okay. I got the premise, I got the premise. to hold the input on that one. Oh, <laughs> again, Mario Maker. Oh, Aww. I was trying to get the coin. I should stop. Yeah, not go into the air because otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. Other than the turtle, I have to avoid, which is here and then here. Oh. Okay, okay. Some of the stuff I won't know until I pretty much die on it. Oh. Uh oh. No, it's fine. <laughs> nice. That was lucky. Okay, and we've arrived at the last level of the pack, which is, uh, Treacherous Halls. It's a castle. Ooh, it's... The, uh... The big Goombas. Okay, I see where, where this is going already. You know what it's time for, chat? This time to use this. Just gotta not overdo it. Oh, no, overdid it. <laughs> Okay, but I got to see a bit more of the stage. Unfortunately, I didn't land on the Paragoomba. Damn it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, nothing here. Just what I needed. Oh, sh oh shit. These are from Mario too. feeling they're going to be involved here. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, skipping this, don't care. Nah, oh, I should have just ran past. I should have just ran past. That was the incorrect way to handle that. What I did wrong. There we go. That's all we need to do, right? And then invert it. Oh, oh how, did I, how? How did I do it? How? Oh my god, how? <laughs> yep, I'm definitely definitely on the edge of losing the platforming battle here. Hello, Adriel. How's it going? I'm gonna go back in there because I'm stubborn. Alright. I didn't... I didn't need to come in here. Looks like this was the better way. Oh wow, just let me skip a bunch of that dangerous stuff. What's this? At the Mario 2 this. Oh god. Uh Yeah. <laughs> I should have just kept going. That was going to be a, a Christmas miracle if I made it through that one. Man, I can't believe these are official Nintendo levels. They're kind of sadistic in some way. Kirby doing in this game? That's not Kirby, that's um, some character from Mario Brothers 2. Can't remember its name. Oh, 
This is definitely the safer way to come down. Do I want to do that again? It's like a little bean on... A little bean. Ah, oh, it's the same shit again. I have to land on it. <laughs> yeah, look. I could go for all the coins, I could, but... I think we all know I'm just not up to that task anymore. Okay. But this sucks. That part just sucks, man. It gives you an upgrade and then it puts a scenario where you're gonna lose it no matter what, it seems. Oh, that was dumb. Mamma mia! <laughs> its name is Flory Hecke. Yeah, I mean, it's only ever appeared in Mario 2, to my knowledge. Just the better path. I'm gonna try it again. Just what I needed. Yeah, what a bag of dick. Honestly. Skip it. Not worth it. Okay, especially not against Boom Boom. Oh, almost missed it. The... Yeah, because I can just chain kill Boom Boom. Yeah, I'm glad I just skipped it. Else? What is this? Oh, this is just a hall of records. Which, yeah, I mean, it's cute. <laughs> Got one. It's your hall of coins. That's not a boss area. All right. Well, yeah, that that's it. Those are the uh, demo card, power up card. Hold on, there's more. There might be more. No. Okay. False alarm. Yeah, this is it. It's like... I think this is just going... Yeah, if it's e-read accessory. Alright, it's just that functionality that no longer exists. Uh, yeah. So these were the uh, the bonus stages for Super Mario 3 for the Game Boy Advance, which came from a bunch of cards, so 
kind of neat to take a look at them properly. I've always been curious about them. Uh, it's kind of a shame they were relegated to just this accessory instead of cards that, uh... I mean, I'm sure some people got to experience them, but I would say most didn't. Uh, but they're definitely worth a playthrough. They're interesting because they're official Nintendo levels for Mario 3 with a bunch of extra mechanics in it. So, pretty cool, I think. Uh, anyway, the only way you can experience it now, for those that missed it, is just... Uh, if you per manage to purchase this before the eShop shut down for the Wii U, but it is currently on Nintendo Switch Online on their GBA section, if you've got the expansion pass. And those are the only methods I'm going to mention. Alright, well, we have come to the end of the stream for tonight, chat. It's almost midnight. I'm not going to start Zelda. Uh, I just wanted to kick back with this. I figured it would be interesting to look at it. So, I'm going to head out for the evening, as far as Twitch goes. But uh, I might play some Diablo before bed on Discord if anyone wants to watch. But otherwise, I'll just, like, record my pre-recorded stream. So then I just... Uh, upload it later. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you did enjoy this trip down memory lane. Hopefully some nostalgia, but also maybe got to experience something new. I know I did. <laughs> Good game, just what I needed. Yeah, I hope that it was just what you needed as well. Uh, yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube and you enjoyed this in particular, just remember to click buttons for algorithm purposes if you want to support the content I do. And if you want to see me do anything in particular, just drop a comment or something, and I'll give it some consideration. Alright. Thank you for watching, YouTube.